Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a racing saddle and bridle for Schleich courses. And as always, we're going to begin with the materials you need are felts. I'm using black for my saddle and mint for the pad. Just like my black felt, I have black ribbon that is two to three millimeters. I also have some mint two to three millimeter ribbon some cereal box cardboard i also used the old ribbon spools some thin craft foam you will need eight six millimeter jump rings now i don't know exactly what these are called but you buy them in the jump ring section and they're just little square jump rings and i i use them for stirrups and if you want to make some stirrups i have those in some other saddle tutorials of course hot glue scissors a pen, pencil, or marker, pliers, some embellishment glue. You really don't need this, but it works great for gluing on the numbers. Now to get started, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your marker and your cardboard, and you're going to draw onto the cardboard the seat of your saddle. And then, of course, you're going to cut it out. Now you should have something that looks like this. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take the bottom of the saddle seat and you're going to bend it up just like I'm doing. Next, add glue to the top of the bottom that we just bent up and glue it down to the black felt, making sure to leave lots of felt around it. Next, I'm gonna apply glue to the top and I'm going to glue it down to the felt as well. Then roughly cut it out, making sure to leave lots of felt around it. Now you're going to cut a small square out of both of the corners at the bottom, just like I'm doing. Then go around the cardboard and cut several slits into the felt. So now you have a bunch of felt tabs and you're going to apply glue to them and fold them over and glue them to the cardboard side. After all that, the seat of your saddle should look like this. Now take one of the jump rings and glue it to the end of a little scrap piece of ribbon. Then on the other end, you're going to glue another jump ring. Now you're going to have a little piece like this with just a jump ring on each end. And if it's a little messy, that's perfectly fine because now we're going to apply some glue to the ribbon part and we're going to stick that to the cardboard side of our saddle. So a little bit of each of the jump ring should be sticking out on both sides. Next, we're going to set that piece aside and now out of felt, we're going to cut two saddle flaps. So you should have two shapes that are as identical as you can make them, and they should look like this. Now you're going to take one of the saddle flaps and you're going to add glue to the bottom, and you're going to grab the seat that we made earlier, and you're going to glue the saddle flap to the side of the saddle, and you're going to kind of position it up a little higher than you would on a normal English saddle. And of course, same with the other, add some glue and you're going to, uh, of course, glue it onto the other side of the saddle. Now your saddle will look like this. The back is quite messy and the front is really pretty. Now for the super fun part, you're going to smear glue all over the back of the saddle, making sure to get close to the edges. Then you're going to take it quickly and you're going to place it onto the black felt and press it down. And while the glue is drying onto the felt, I like to kind of bend the saddle and kind of shape it down a little bit, kind of shape it so it'll fit the horse's back. Then I very roughly cut it out and now I'm going to actually neatly cut it out. This is what you should have now, definitely much neater. Next, you're going to thread the black ribbon through one of the jump rings. Add glue to the end of the ribbon. 
Then pull it up and glue it back to the ribbon quite close to the jump ring, making sure not to get any glue on the jump ring or the saddle. Trim off any glue that may have squeezed out. Then cut the ribbon about four inches long. Repeat that same process on the other side. Now onto one of the ribbons we glued onto the saddle. You're going to thread on your stirrup. Then you're going to thread that piece of ribbon back up through the jump ring that we glued the ribbon to. Repeat that process on the other side, and now you have adjustable stirrups. Take another jump ring and add a touch of glue. Place it on the edge of the saddle flap and press it on. This is for the stirrup leather that we made that is sticking up in the air. As you can see, it's going to go through this jump ring to keep it together. And once again, we're going to do the same thing for the other side. What I like to do, since I feel the glue on the saddle just looks messy, I take my black Sharpie marker and I just color the glue. So it's at least the same color as the saddle and it just, like I said, doesn't look as messy. Also, if you're having any, if you can see any glue on the saddle anywhere, I just color it with a marker that is the same color as the felt and it works really well. Now thread that ribbon that's sticking in the air through the jump ring and just kind of pull your stirrups where you think the length will be and then you just cut the end making sure to leave lots of ribbon sticking out so you can adjust them and then add a little bit of glue to the end so it doesn't fray. As always, same process for the other side. And now your actual saddle is complete, but we still have a lot of other things to make. We need a girth, which is really easy. Just thread the last two jump rings onto the end of the ribbon. Add some glue to the end and fold it down and glue it to the ribbon so like the jump rings will be inside of this little loop and make sure not to get any glue onto the jump rings. Trim off any glue that squeezes out and cut it several inches long, maybe about 10 inches. A little long is better than too short. Now for the pad or like the cloth, you're just going to cut a square of felt. Now you're going to take the craft foam and we're going to cut out some numbers. So I find a number three and one are really easy to cut out. Of course, if you had like a sharp knife, you could definitely cut out some of the more harder numbers, but I just stuck with the, the easiest number I think is a number three. And I'll just leave this in a little bit slower motion so you guys can see how I cut out my number threes. Then I just apply some of the embellishment glue to the back of my three. And I like using this glue because hot glue, I feel like it just dries super fast. And I don't like how it looks once I've glued it onto the pad because it always has the strings and stuff. And I just like how this works better. Now we just kind of tack up, so I put on the pad, then the saddle. So for the girth, you just wrap it around the saddle and the pad and go under the horse and then put it through the buckle. So it's just up through both of the jump rings and then bring it back through the second jump ring and pull it tight. Then I just cut the girth ribbon a little shorter because mine turned out a bit long. And then of course you're going to add glue so it doesn't fray. Now that that is complete, we're going to make a bridle as well. So we're going to take a ribbon and we're going to measure around the nose of the horse and then cut it. Then add a little bit of glue to the end and you're going to loop the other end around and you're going to glue them together so you have a loop. Trim off any messy glue that may squeeze out. Now that we have our nose band, you're going to take the end of the ribbon again and you're going to put it through the nose band and you're going to add glue to the end and then you're going to fold that end up and glue it to the ribbon, making sure not to get any glue onto the nose band. 
then cut it about an inch long. Now we need to make buckles, so you're going to take, actually I forgot to mention earlier that you need 20 gauge wire. So you're going to take the wire and pl place it in between your pliers and basically just wrap it around the tip and then you're going to pull the wire out of the pliers and you can watch me struggle because mine was on there really tight. Now you're going to use your wire cutters that you also need and you're going to cut the buckle free of the spool of wire. Then just reshape it a little bit with the pliers if it's a little bit squished. Now you're just going to place the buckle in between your pliers. I like to use these big ones, but the little ones work fine as well. And you basically just squeeze the buckle really hard. This kind of just squishes the whole buckle together and welds it together so the ribbon doesn't slip out. Then lastly, you just clip off any pieces of wire that are sticking out. And you're going to need two of those buckles. Now you're going to thread one of the buckles onto the piece of ribbon that we cut and glued earlier. So you just go through the bottom loop of the buckle and then bring the ribbon back up through the top loop. Then fold the piece of ribbon that's sticking up over and if it's a little long you just cut it. So you can apply hot glue to the end and then glue it down and make sure not to get any glue onto the buckle. Now on the other side you're going to glue on another piece of ribbon just like we did on the other side, only this time you're going to cut it several inches long, about five, six inches. Maybe not six, maybe more like five. Then you're going to take the end of that ribbon, bring it over, and you're going to thread it through the buckle. So take it through the top and then pull it through the bottom loop on the buckle. Now take the second buckle and the end of your ribbon on the spool and you're going to thread it through the buckle, so through the top, then through the bottom, then you're going to pull it through, add a little bit of glue to the end, making sure not to get any glue onto the buckle, then you're going to take that little piece of ribbon and you're going to glue it back down to itself, then cut it quite long, about five inches. Now loop the end up and thread it through the buckle, so through the top and then thread it through the bottom. Next you're going to take them two pieces we made and you're going to put the single loop one on top of the one that has the nose band on it. Then finally you're going to take your mint ribbon and you're going to loop it through these two pieces and holding these two pieces together you're going to apply a little bit of glue to the end of the mint ribbon and making sure not to get any glue onto the two black pieces of ribbon. Trim off any glue that may have squeezed out. Then you're going to cut the mint ribbon long enough to be the brow band. If you're not sure how long to cut it, you can put it on your horse and try it on to measure. But make sure when you're measuring and cutting the mint ribbon that you include enough that you can loop it over and glue it onto the other side like we're doing right now. And we're just gluing it down exactly the way we did on the other side. Now you're going to open a jump ring and you're going to slip it onto the, this jump ring is going to look like the bit, so you're going to put it where the bit would be connected, I guess at the bottom of the cheek piece, and you're going to do that on both sides with both of the last jump rings. Now back to the black ribbon and you're going to glue it onto one of the jump rings that we just clipped on. Trim off the squeezed out glue and I'm going to cut this piece of ribbon about an inch and a quarter long. And the same is done for the other side. Now to make this bridle look even more like a racing bridle, I decided to do the reins a little bit fun. So that's why we cut these black pieces of ribbon so short because now you're going to apply some glue to the end and then you're going to glue the mint ribbon to the black ribbon. After putting the bridle on your horse you're going to measure how long you need to cut the mint ribbon so you're basically just going to loop it around and just cut it however long you want your reins to be making sure to leave a little extra to glue onto the black piece of ribbon. Also cut the ribbons that are coming from the buckles a little shorter then I just hold them together and add glue to the end so they don't fray. Also, if you're going to squeeze the glue like I do, make sure you let it cool for a couple seconds, that way you don't burn yourself. And lastly, back to the reins, you're just going to apply some glue to the black piece of ribbon, and you're just going to glue on the mint piece. 
All right, everyone. So that is how I make racing tack for my Schleich. Now I'm going to do a little shout out for myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do have a craft store on Etsy where I sell Schleich tack like this. And I also make handmade equestrian themed bracelets that I also sell there. Anyway, I will put the link to it in the description if anybody wants to check that out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this tutorial was helpful to somebody and I will see you next time. Bye!